So now we have to change this to be in the right time. And how we can do that is, there's a couple ways. So let's do the short way right now, which is holding down option again, but hovering over our, the end of our track. And we want this icon to show up with the kind of squigglies at the end of the, and the bracket in between. Now, when we click and drag this and let go, this is going to time stretch our audio. What usually works is if you just time, if you just drag it to the nearest grid and let go, usually this works because it will set it in time with the grid. But depending on the performance of the track, um, sometimes you might have to stretch it more, sometimes you might have to stretch it less. So let's see what this sounds like. Let's just hear it solo for a second. And I'm just gonna um, boost the signal up so I can see where she's singing that second note. It kind of fits with the music. It's a bit fast, so I could stretch it another bar and see what that sounds like. Let me let go. Now we've made the sample slower. That sounds better to me. And what's happening is I can zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in now on this. I'm just gonna um, do, now I'm gonna press command down on my, and make these tracks fatter. You see how the transient here on the female vocal sample starts here when it should start here. So what I'm gonna do is right click because I have my scissors on the right click. I'm just gonna cut this audio. I'm gonna click this delete it and then I'm going to bring my cursor to number five, click this and then I'm gonna press semicolon and semicolon is gonna snap that to number five. I could also click and drag, it's a personal choice. And let's cut it at bar seven and loop it two bars to see what that sounds like. It's pretty much in time because it's a vocal sample, it can be flexible, but it is still a little fast for me. So I wanna hear what that sounds like. a little bit less, maybe like this. What I'm now is just time stretching it by a smaller amount to seeing what fits in to your taste. Let's just try a little slower. Let's roll with that one for now. So I'm gonna cut it at bar seven again. And why am I doing that? Because if I don't cut it here and loop it, it's gonna to start too late. So I need to make sure the loop starts right at bar seven. If for some reason that doesn't work, you can always double click the file and go to file here and then go to functions and then time and pitch machine. It's important that you do know and if in this case, the original tempo of your sample. So that's really important because you would put the original tempo in here and then you would put the tempo you want. And that would help probably sort out any timing issue you, you had with your file. Let's take this sample a step further and use the quick sampler tool that Logic gives us so we can actually have this sample on our MIDI keyboard and we can play the sample on our MIDI keyboard with different pitch levels and use it actually as more of an instrument